Yeah, happy 10th anniversary, wagertalk.com. And we're going to celebrate for the next four days and nights with promo code 10 year. You get instant 25% off, fill your cart special, and you have all weekend to do it. So go in often, just like voting in a couple months, early and often, and fill that cart and get 25% off. Or actually, 30% off. My bad, 30% off. It's normally 25, it's 30% off because. This is a special occasion. Once again, 10 year is the code to use. Let's look at a free play for you on a national TV game tonight on Thursday, Major League Baseball, Phillies and Braves. This is on Fox National TV at 7 o'clock Eastern. So many of the, most of the country will be getting this. I believe the Orioles and Astros are the other games. The two really good games on Fox tonight. And this is one of them. And on the surface, these are two teams that are contenders. We felt that way all season long. The Phillies have pretty much had a seven-game lead on the Braves for a while now. And that's because both teams – have been playing mediocre baseball here down the stretch. In fact, if you look at the last 30 games, the Phillies are still just 12 and 18. Braves are just 13 and 17. So even though these are two playoff contenders, uh, they're not really playing that way right now. So I think the safer option here is the total. And one of the reasons they're struggling is because the offenses have been struggling to score at times. So I like under the total in this one between the Braves and mm-hmm. Phillies tonight at 7 Eastern. And we get a good number, eight. Opened eight and a half. Some of the sharp books went down to eight. It's now juiced eight under 15, under 20. I even see a leading indicator book at minus 25. So I do think the sharp money, the correct money, is on the under eight in this Phillies-Braves game, and I would agree with it. Uh, Both pitchers in decent current form overall. Uh, Sanchez, 3.5 ERA, and uh, Schwellenbach actually a 4-0 ERA on the season, but he's been really good going back to early July. His last seven starts at 2.9 ERA. Struggled a bit in his last outing against Anaheim, giving up three runs in just five innings. So I do think this is a little bit of a bounce back spot for him at home. So I like the setup here. And then Sanchez was just fantastic in his last outing. A rare nine inning complete game. Only against my Washington Nationals could somebody get nine innings nowadays. And he did it well. Two hits, one earned run. Maybe a little bit of a regression, but I don't think so because he had a terrible start before that at Arizona in a hitter friendly park when he gave up seven runs in four innings. So he had the bounce back as expected against the Nats. I think that momentum continues here. Good outing for both pitchers, decent bullpens, mediocre offenses. In fact, despite winning three of their last four games, have scored three runs or less in three of those four games. And the Braves overall have scored three runs or less now in five of their last six games. Philly, meanwhile, um, has scored three and one so far in this series in Atlanta, and it finishes up tonight. Look for under eight runs between the Braves and Phillies at 7 Eastern on Fox National TV. And oh, by the way, if you want my strong best bet tonight, this is a free opinion only. My strong best bet's available for clients right now at wagertalk.com. You might want to pay attention. I am red hot in baseball. I'm nine and one my last 10 over the past week. The only loss, by the way, was a blown two nothing lead in the top of the ninth. Otherwise we'd be 10 and zero. We are red hot in baseball. And if you look at the rankings right now at wagertalk.com, you can see it. Eight and one, as I said, the last seven days up 26 units. And number one, the last 30 days in baseball, 26 and 14, up 42 and a half units. Let's get to that 10 and one run tonight with a strong best bet for Thursday night baseball. And oh, yeah, bonus free play on the nighttime card as well on my page right now. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com and get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash SM. Like, subscribe and comment below. I read all the comments here on Wager Talk TV.